you when you look at multiverse movies that have been coming out over the last few years, you'll notice a difference in the way they've been received. And I think that the difference, it really, is that there's certain multiverse movies that are an event that are special, do something new and really interesting, something that pops, it's worth talking about. Then there are other multiverse movies where you feel like the multiverse is being used as a gimmick, as a way to do cheap fan service, just little cameos here and there. To be like, oh, look who that is, isn't it exciting? Rather than the movie really doing something new. So you look at the Spider-Verse films, I think one of the big reasons why they've been so successful is because they're doing things that haven't been done in animation before, so it's really interesting, especially with Across the Spider-Verse. The way that movie blends different animation and art styles is incredible. The fact that every frame is a work of art is really interesting. So those ones stand out because they embrace every aspect of Spider-Man. There's so many different spider people in there, and of course they are very well written, they tell a great story with great characters. So those ones stand out. They feel like an event. And then Spider-Man No Way Home was bringing together the three different live-action versions of Spider-Man. The version from the MCU, played by Tom Holland, along with the two previous live-action versions from that are not in the MCU. What I mean is, Spider-Man No Way Home brings in Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire's versions of Spider-Man. Th those versions of the characters come from movies that are separate from the MCU. Most of them were made before the MCU started. So, because No Way Home was bringing together the three different live-action versions of Spider-Man, that felt special. That felt like an event. But you look at Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, and I think that's the ultimate example of what I mean when I say using the multiverse as a cheap gimmick. That movie, for one, played it really safe when there was no need to. It has multiverse in the title, and yet the TV show What If explores the multiverse a lot more than Doctor Strange 2. Everything Everywhere All at Once deals with the multiverse a lot more than Doctor Strange 2 does. You look at the movie and there's a two minute long scene where you get glimpses of all these really interesting creative universes and then the scene is over and we don't actually see them again. And then what do you get from the multiverse beyond that? Well just different versions of Doctor Strange. You see the Illuminati. It's like, oh, look, it's John Krasinski playing Mr. Fantastic. This is a guy who was fan cast for years. Isn't it amazing? And then Patrick Stewart is back as Charles Xavier. Isn't that awesome? It's from the Fox X-Men movies. Patrick Stewart was so good there. And then you got some other cameos as well. They're literally in the movie for five minutes and then they're killed off. In particular, Mr. Fantastic after it's stated that he's supposedly the smartest man on Earth, the movie makes him look like a moron, which is a stupid decision on the part of the filmmakers here. But overall, what you saw is Doctor Strange 2 didn't feel like an event. It didn't feel special. It's just like, oh, okay, yeah, we're, we're just uh, using the multiverse for some fan service, just a way to have a few little cameos in there, give people what they want, but it wasn't really interesting. And then The Flash did infamously bomb at the box office, but it wouldn't be accurate to say, well, The Flash the Flash just bombed because it had the multiverse in it. No, no, that's not the case at all. There were a lot of reasons why The Flash infamously tanked at the box office. I don't think the multiverse was the problem. With The Flash, I think that the movie uses the multiverse well. And then you look at everything, everywhere, all at once that came out back in 2022. It's not a comic book film, it's a standalone film that uses the multiverse. That, I think, did actually feel like an event because of how creative it was. Because people are like, wow, this movie is really well written it uses the multiverse in a very interesting way because at the core of it at, at its core everything everywhere all at once is really a family drama about the relationship between a mother and a daughter the multiverse is used as a way to explore that so people are like 
yeah, this is really interesting, really fascinating. So this movie feels special, but Doctor Strange 2, in contrast, did not feel special.